Welcome to this lecture on dividends tax. Let's have a quick discussion about what dividends tax is and what we're going to be looking at here. Dividends tax is a tax that you pay when there is a payment of dividends. So it is not a tax that you pay when you receive a dividend, but it's a tax that you pay when there is a payment of dividends. Now this is considered, well they call it quite often a withholding tax. I don't want you to just Remember, think about withholding taxes, not the same as withholding taxes we saw for non-residents, but there is a, an element of withholding tax. So let me explain to you how this works. Here is X Limited, a company. It makes a distribution, and you're going to see me use that term very often. You need to pay attention to the word distribution. A distribution can basically be, and we're going to already just mention it here, but a distribution from a company to its shareholders can basically be a dividend or it can be something which is called contributed tax capital, which we'll explore, explore in a lot more detail. Now a dividend is a dividend and a contributed tax capital, CTC, is not a dividend. So for now I'm just going to ignore CTC. Okay, so dividend. So x Limited pays a dividend of 100,000 rands to its shareholders. Now, how that's going to work is as follows. So X Limited wants to give 100,000 rands dividend. X Limited will pay both the shareholders and SARS. And what they will do, dividends tax is calculated at 20% of the amount. So 20,000, 20, 20, 20, 000. So how it works is X Limited will pay 20,000 rands to SARS and it will pay the remaining 80,000 rands to the shareholders. So X Limited is withholding the amount of tax to pay it across to SARS. Now when these shareholders are doing the tax calculation, I just want you to from the start be aware of it, we know the dividends tax or dividends received is a special inclusion to gross income. So we have to include it, and we know that it is exempt, section 10, 1K. All right, now, how much do we put in? 80,000, 20,000, 100,000. You put in 100,000 rands. Always the amount before tax. Always. That's an application of the Wittwaldsland Association of Racing Clubs case. And that full amount is then exempt. Remember this principle, guys? If you now see, but that's a bit strange. It's the same thing when you pay a person a salary. If I pay you a salary of 10,000 rands, right, to you and to SARS, I'm going to give SARS the PAYE, uh, let's say it's 2,500 rands, and you are going to receive in your bank account 7,500 rands. It's also withholding tax. How much are you going to put into your tax calculation when you say salary here? The full amount. Okay, so that's just general principles that you need to be aware of. So this is one of the reasons why dividends are exempt, because they will be taxed on it at some other point. Dividends tax, so that's why it's exempt from income tax. Now one thing I also just want you to be aware of as we go along, and this is especially if you have not really paid attention to these type of things in the past, you need to understand that there is a difference between taxable income, accounting profit, and cash flows. Okay, taxable income, accounting profit, and cash flows. What's the cash flow here in this situation where they pay it? The cash flow is 80,000 rands. The accounting profit, right, might be 80,000. The taxable income, no. So you have to, just to give you an idea, you have to be aware of it. And this is especially important when we look at things like liquidations. Okay, so that's it, and that's what we're going to be looking at.